Good morning, everybody, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a time lapse video in iMovie. So, first thing you do is you want to fire up iMovie. I'm going to let this program load up here for a second. Um, as you can tell here, this is the video that I actually made last week, um, but I'm going to show you how I do it all the way from the beginning. First thing I'm going to do is name a new event. I'm going to name it Time Lapse Video. See right below it, there's time lapse Pure Marquette, which is the video I did last week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import some media for it. So I'm going to, wherever you put your media or wherever you put your pictures that you want to use for your time lapse, this is where you would get them from. I'm going to go ahead and import those in real quick. Ah, uh, yes, I can't import this. GoPro, yeah, okay, I get it should still bring over the photos and there they are now as you can see here there's some photos in here that I don't want on there um, this from when I was playing and setting up the camera but we'll worry about that in a minute and here I select them all but you can see on the bottom there I already have all those pictures already imported so we're gonna have to make a new movie so we will go to new select movie I don't really want a theme on it so I'm going to select no theme and I'm going to name this test video alright now I can go through and take out these pictures I don't want I don't really want my ugly mug in there so I'm going to move those to the trash and there's that one so now we can do that now you can hold down the command key and you can highlight multiple pictures so if you want to remove those out of there make that nice and easy and move the trash there you are now I'm gonna go through every picture in here I'm gonna take a look at them because there's still some pictures in there with my mug in them now if you remove one or two frames it isn't gonna hurt anything you just don't want to get excessive about it I'm going to continue to look down these pictures to make sure I don't show my face again. Ah, there I am again. Alright, so now I've got all those out of there. I'm going to go all the way down here and make sure I'm not in here at all. And there's a lot of pictures in here. There's like 458 pictures. Um, I had a camera set up for 5 second intervals. Ah, uh, here I am. Here I am again. I'll get rid of me. I got a thing for getting in pictures, I guess. Alright, now I'm out of here. Now I'm going to go up to the top here and edit and hit select all. I'm going to pull all these pictures down in the timeline here. Well, at least I thought I was. <laughs> now i got to redo that. Back to select all again. Hit edit. Go down to select all. And let's pull them down and see if it works this time. Alright, awesome. Now you can see on here these things are set up for four second intervals. Um, that's too long for a time lapse. It'll take way too long to do your video. And also you can see as I go down them, it goes back and forth. Picture moves forward and back. That's called the Ken Burns effect. So if you click that little thing up there, it looks like a cropping tool. Go ahead and click that. You want to turn that Ken Burns part off. And hit crop to fit. There you go. Now I got to look at the time on here. Like I said a minute ago, they're, they're set at four seconds. You want to hit that little I for information button up there. In the toolbar there. See duration says 4 seconds. You want to make that 0.1 second. Alright. So, let's see if this does it. Nope. Okay, still at 4 seconds. So we need to go ahead and stop that and redo that real quick. Alright, hit that I again. 
And you can hit it one more time. There you go. Still at four seconds. Let's change that point to, to point zero 0.01. We'll hit enter again here. See if we can change them out. There we go. Now we're on the money. All right. So now I'm going to play it and show you. There you go. So that's what it should look like right there. I'll make it a big screen here for a minute so you can see it. But everything should move kind of smoothly. And they should be set at one second intervals. Uh, that makes it look really nice. So that is how I would do that on the iMovie program. If you liked the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Bye.